Welcome back everyone. This will be my fourth video on creating a awesome table badging uh, system. So in the previous three videos I've talked about the various pieces and in this video I'm hoping to bring it all together. Um, I had to make a few revisions to what I've previously done but what you're looking at here is the the teacher view which uh, the teacher can distribute and or take away badges if needed um, directly from the awesome table by clicking on these buttons. Now the issue I had to deal with was making these badges available to students but not this button to award badges. I wanted to be sure that this column was not accessible to students and I've been able to do that and I will share that with you as well. So the student view looks something like this. So a student would see their name and then the badges uh, that they've earned um, if that student happens to be logged in. In this case, this is student one. So without wasting any time, I'm going to jump over to my spreadsheet. That is the engine behind all of this. So I'll what I ended up doing was creating a separate tab for the student view awesome table. So this is merely a query of this information minus the column that has the button which awards the badges. So in other words, column G is not among the student view uh, column. So you can see in my query up here, I'm not referencing column G from the class roster uh, tab. So and there's actually another query down here um, right below it. So for some reason I was having an issue returning some of the values in row 2, these filters. So I ended up having to create two queries. Um, but it does now work. So in the previous video I talked about the uh, this concept of having a template document and I've thought about this and there's really not much to say about this other than then there are many excellent templates on the awesome table documentation website and that's where I I took most of this stuff and I combined it into one template. So those progress bars that you see, um, I found those on the Awesome Table uh, documentation website from another example. So the beauty of these templates is that your style sheet can combine many of those elements into one. So literally what I did was I just dumped a bunch of the styling. It's probably not the best way to do this, but I dumped a lot of it into this particular cell in my template and in, underneath the style block and then things just worked. I did change colors and things like that and I explored that much about like how to modify colors so on and so forth with CSS but there's not a whole lot to it. It just kind of works when you just copy and paste it into it. But I'm going to actually share a copy of this particular template. Here's the document. Um, it's a direct copy um, and when you copy it all of the scripts that come along with it um, will be there as well if that's permitted in your domain. So I also want to draw your attention to one of the scripts that is in here as well. So if you go to Tools and Script Editor, uh, you'll notice we have uh, what's called a proxy. And this is the script that allows you to display only what's relevant to the student or whoever is logged in. So this has to be deployed as a web app. So once you've you've copied the sheet and you've opened up the script editor, you will want to open up this proxy script and then go to publish deploy as a web app and then you'll choose new as the version and then you're going to execute the app as yourself 
and then give access to anyone in your domain. And when you do that, it gives you a URL. And in that URL, that's what you will use when you configure your awesome table. So if we go over to the student view, for example, so this is the, the teacher view, but if we go over to the student view, we'll notice it's not it's not showing me any data uh, because it's looking at who's logged in and this is the teacher so it's actually looking for a specific email address so if I go into edit this view you can see where under advanced parameters the proxy web app the script that's been pasted right in there so that's what is is creating that effect where you only see your the row of data that pertains to you so I don't have much more to contribute to this video. I'm going to link to this copy uh, in the description of this YouTube video. So all of you can uh, just take it and work with it and modify it and do all you want. But um, the thing to remember is that this template document, um, none of this is original work aside from some of the color changes, so on and so forth. Um, but I think if you play around with what I've developed in this space, um, and if you look at the previous videos again, um, you could definitely expand upon the ideas I've presented here. So, and maybe, maybe not, I'll come back with another video, but I think I've covered all of my bases. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.